Normally, prayers for pilgrims are said by members of chapter every Friday at noon in the cathedral at the Shrine of St. David. But because of the pandemic, of course, the cathedral's closed. But we can be sure that our prayers are heard from wherever we say them. And a different member of chapter will be bringing you Friday prayers from around the diocese. Since Pope Calixtus II declared St. David's to be a place of pilgrimage in the 12th century, the shrine situated in the presbytery of the cathedral next to the high altar has been a place where pilgrims have focused their prayers to God and in the normal times they continue to do so. And so we begin with the collect, the special prayer for St. David. Let us pray. God our Father, you gave St. David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, may we joyfully hold fast to the things which lead to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. Today is the feast of Philip and James, or more affectionately known as Pip and Jim. The Gospel reading for today is from John 14. I am the way, the truth and the life. And it allows Philip to ask the question which leads Jesus to give the teaching of unity between the Father and the Son. Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father, and I am in the Father, and the Father in me. I'm not entirely sure what happened to April, uh, nor to the end of March, but here we are in May already. And to be perfectly honest, I'm struggling to concentrate, and I'm not sure how healthy my prayer life is, or even if I know what to pray for anymore. And yet it comes back to this that it's not in my strength alone, that it never was, um, nor is it anything to do with me. But it's all about knowing Jesus and believing in all that he has done for us and achieved for us through his struggle and through his crucifixion and through his resurrection. It's all been completed. It's all been done for us on the cross. And it's a timely reminder for us when we are all struggling and to pass that struggle on to him, to the one who can bear that weight for us. If you ask anything in my name, he says, I will do it. And so we give thanks today for Philip and James, for their honesty and for their discipleship, in spite of their questioning, which only allowed for greater teaching and greater clarity. And so we pray. We pray for ourselves. We pray for our own struggles today perhaps loneliness, confusion, feeling the need to break out. Perhaps we're mourning for the life that we once had or mourning for a loved one lost. We pray for those on our hearts and minds and for the people of the world, especially those who are affected by the pandemic. We pray for all who work in the health and care sectors for all key workers who keep our society moving. And we pray for God's loving comfort and companionship, God's guidance, God's encouragement, wherever life's pilgrim journey has brought us. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the way, the truth and the life. And so, be our way. Give us grace to follow your lead, courage to persevere when the going is tough. And when we stumble, let us not be afraid to take hold of your outstretched hand as you offer us a fresh start. Be our truth. Give us your wisdom so that we may know how to walk in the paths of honesty and integrity. And be our life. Revive us when we falter, refresh us when we tire, and bring us to share in your risen life, now and for all eternity. Amen. So we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so, Almighty God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant David, that we may joyfully know you in singleness of heart, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you today and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>